Hello guys, welcome back to the Let's Play Link to the Past. Now, last time we um, upgraded our magic and we found our way to level 3, the Skull Woods. And now, today, we're going to finish the dungeon, the Skull Woods. So, let's get it started and we're going to explore every part of it. So, I'll have to show you what this dungeon what this looks like. First off, we're going to get a map. As usual, just push X. Now, what you want to do is X out this dungeon, because we're not worried about that treasure chest just yet. And plus, we only have the big key. So you just want to fall down this hole right here to explore the other half of it. Just watch out for the little bumper. Oh, great. Move! 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 Jeez, you guys are in all in the way. Okay. Hurry up. Now, that we got that out of the way, before we mess up this floor, we want to explore a few more rooms first. Now, the rooms you want to explore is the one on the top, so we're just going to go to the one on the top first. And the treasure chest contains a small key. Hey. There we go. Contains a small key. Then you want to open this locked door right here, and it leads us back to the entrance that I made mean, the exit that we left out of. Okay, so we don't need to use our magic mirror for that, because the door that we want to explore in the room is right next to us. So. First, we want to open a stretch chest that will mess up the floor. See, it will just mess up the floor if you get the compass. Now, we want to go down here. It will lock up right behind us. And we want to get this stretch chest right here. And watch out for the wall masters as well. So, if you get grabbed by one, then you'll get warped back to the beginning of the dungeon. Then you have to start all over again. And trust me, there are certain times you do not want to get grabbed by the wall master. Because... There's a Then you're like, man, you know, yeah, that kind of thing. And yes, you probably guys are going to talk about the Ocarina of Time reference. Look the Forest Temple or either the Shadow Temple. Yes, I've been there, done that, and yes, it wasn't fun. But actually, the Forest Temple, I'm going to say, is not that bad. But other than that, we're going to grab this small key right here, and we're going to open this locked door right here. And this room is where we came from from the beginning of the video. Okay, excuse me for the yawning. Now, we want to get the big key. So, we're going to go around here. Uh, sorry for the lagging. I don't know what's going on with that lag. Stop lagging, jeez. Okay, now you want to go in this part right here. This is the part where the big key lays. And also, you can get a magic refill here. So, just take care of these mummies because these mummies will follow you while you pull the block. And once again, watch out for the wall masters. Okay, I just want to push the statue, in, or as really I should say, is pull it. Okay, there we go. Just pull it onto the switch, and I got grabbed. That's wait, did I get grabbed? Did I not? Oh, what the heck just happened? Oh, I got grabbed anyway. Jerk. That's payback. Alright, now once again we're gonna repeat the same process. So, I'll meet you guys when I pull that statue onto the switch. Okay, we're back. And please don't let me get grabbed by this wall master again. 
go on my guy. Okay, now this wall to the right right here is an empty room with a skull, bottle, smasher, whatever you want to call it. And it contains a full magic jar, so if you're empty on magic, just grab one of those and then you can refill your magic. But why we got the big key and I got killed again. Actually, yeah, let's use that. Because I don't th I don't think the statue's gonna I think the statue's gonna be there, ain't it? Yep. We're using the magic here. Okay, now just go straight across. Because there's another room I wanna show you guys. Yeah, you can kill yourself. I'll kill you. Grab this small key right here. Walk outside this dungeon. And go around here. Hey, you ain't hitting nobody. Okay, so fall down this hole right here. And once you fall down this hole, step on a switch. Then you'll have access to that room that has the locked door on it. And once again, watch out for the wall masters because they like to be stupid and grab people and try to get you in that rage mode and, you know, just say all sorts of things at the game. And you encounter four room full of enemies. We aren't going to worry about that right now, so we're just going to go back to the main entrance that we came from from the beginning of the video. And too bad they don't actually think you drop a heart. Thank you. And I'm not worried about you guys. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the main entrance. Actually, I'll meet you guys there. Alright, we're at the main entrance. That we came from at the beginning of the video. Now, what you wanna do is step on a switch and then bomb this wall to your left. Because if you bomb the wall, then try to have... Like, try to go pull the switch. You ain't gonna be able to because it's gonna look something just like this. Yeah. Hits. You're gonna have access to it, so you have to step on this first switch right here. Hey, come on now. Step on this first switch, and then you'll have access to it. Or you can use the cheap way is the bomb glitch, which like shoot yourself, well, bomb yourself really across the hole, and then you can have access to the treasure chest that contains a fire rod. And it uses up magic. Now, if you have the fire rod in Link's Awakening, you're a boss because that fire rod was insanely powerful. And also, it was powerful than your sword and it can burn down bushes in split seconds. Oh boy. Fun times with that rod. That, that rod was amazing. Like, once you have it equipped in your B button, once you beat the kangaroo, then yeah, you're going to go crazy with that fire rod. The best part is that it don't use magic. Okay, now the reason why I came out this way because I want to burn something outside to access another part of level 3. Now, lanterns won't work. If you use lantern, you're not going to get anywhere. So don't even attempt it. So now you want to make your way through this lovely maze. Now, get out of my way. And once you enter this room, you want to go up the stairs to take the safe route. And just go all the way down, jump off this ledge, go in the room that you came from before to get this small key. And use your back. And just shoot on straight up. Okay, just activate the switches. Yeah, you ain't gonna get nobody tonight. Okay, now once you get into this room, just defeat the mummies and try to save your magic, because even though Fire Rod would kill them really good. But other than that, save your magic, because you will need it for these torches right here. Okay. Three more. Come on. There we go. Come on. No. There we 
There we go. Okay, now you want to grab your fire rod. Just light up the torches before they go out, because if you light them all up and then one goes out, then the door opens, then, like, one, the, if one of them goes out, the door will close on you. That's all I gotta say. I don't let that touch you at all. Man, you guys are everywhere! You guys are messing up. You're trying to mess me up. It's one of the reasons why I hate this dungeon. Wall Masters. Jeez. And open the middle. There is no other entrance but the middle. And just beat, defeat the enemies. To put the small keys inside the mummy. And I died once again. Oh my gosh. This is my last fairy too. Go back to the fairy fountain and get some more fairies again. There we go. Okay. Get out of my way. Jerk. Open a small door. And the boss name is Motha. Mokula. I don't know how to say it. But it's a big, big giant moth. And all you have to do is defeat it with your sword, fire rod, or either ice rod. And if you have no fairies like I do now, then you can use the magic cape and just beat the mess out of him with your sword. But it will drain your magic too, even if you have one and a half, so I will suggest using a fire rod and try to use it wisely, and be careful of the traps down there because they will interfere with the boss battle. So just get a first hit with your sword, and then just go crazy with your fire rod. And the traps will block the fire too. Dodge your way around it. There you go. That, that spin didn't turn out so well. That did. Okay, we rescued the next maiden. Alright, level 3. Completed. Yay! Now we get to hear her lovely story of what happened. Okay, now we listen to her story. Now, next video, we're going to go to Thieves Town and also get a new sword, too, as well. Uh, so, I'll see you guys next time, and you guys have a great day. If you guys have questions, comment, DM me, comment in the video if you like it, like the video if you like it, and once again, if you guys have any questions, comment, just DM me, and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, you guys have a nice night.